All right, so today we are installing a Tesla wall charger, getting ready for the Model X to come in because it should be delivered by the end of the year. It's mid-October and we want to get this in. My buddy Nathan is here. Say what up, Nathan. Hello. And uh, he's a master electrician, which I think is so cool and I like to tell everybody I know. <laughs> this sounds awesome. Um, so he's over here, he's gonna install this and we'll talk about some of the things that he does and how this installation is gonna go, where we're gonna place it, why we're gonna place it, how we're gonna route some of the wire. Um, and big surprise to Nathan, he doesn't even know this, he's learning it right now for the first time. I'm paying him whatever this video makes, 50% anyway. That's how he's getting paid. He didn't even, did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, so <laughs> YouTube videos make huge money. Everybody knows that YouTubers just make so much money. So what you gotta do is you gotta hit like, get subscribed, make sure this video does really well for this guy because you know he needs some money, right? Okay, so starting off here, we're just uh, lining up this plate. So this is a little thing if you're gonna put your uh, charger on siding. The, you know, of course the siding is not that smooth. So this box is kind of a perfect fit. I can link that down below uh, to put the charger on. So I kind of debated actually using that or not, um, but I think it'll be better with that. Do you think you could put it on the siding without that? Yeah, definitely. You could? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, maybe we'll do it, maybe we won't, but um, I think we're gonna do it for now. So looking down here, this is the wall charger. We have the Gen 3 wall charger from Tesla. It does up to, I think, whatever, 48 amps. I'm gonna put it up on the screen, I don't remember. Uh, we have six gauge wire for this. Uh, it's how many feet, do you remember how many feet of wire we're doing? 130. 130 feet of wire, yeah. which cost us 500, well it cost me, it doesn't cost him anything. <laughs> cost me $500 yeah. um, and talking at the store, uh, the guy actually told Nathan like a year ago, it would have been like 200 bucks. That's crazy. Or yeah. Maybe, maybe two years ago, two years ago or so the same amount of wire would have cost just $200 versus the 500 today. So that's insane. I mean, that's as much as the wall charger. The wall charger was 500. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of money. Your other option here, of course, you don't have to do a wall charger. You can do what I have here which is the NEMA 1450. And this is what I use right now to charge my Model Y, our only electric vehicle. Uh, but going for this next install, I knew I was parking outside uh, for this other car. And I knew that I wanted the wall charger because while this is rated for outdoors, and of course you can get a NEMA 1450 outlet right here that's, that's rated for outdoors that has the nice housing and everything. Um, I thought the wall charger would look a little better outside um, and just be a little more protected. So I went with that instead. But if you don't wanna spend that much, you can get this NEMA 1450 and installed. Now you got to imagine this NEMA 1450, this outlet costs, you know, maybe 20 bucks or something at the store, maybe less than that. Uh, the wiring is going to be the same, you know, or similar price. And then the wall charger will be the 500 instead of this, you know, 20 or $30. So you do save a bit of money if you go with a NEMA 1450. And while the charging speed is lower, it's not all that much different, especially charging overnight. You're probably not going to notice any difference. So we have the uh, box installed here that the wall connector is going to go on. And that was really fast and it looks really good. I was gonna paint it uh, to match the trim or to match the siding, but actually, you know, we have white trim and I think it looks really good and I also have no time to do anything. So it worked out. <laughs> I actually think it looks pretty good and it'll mostly be covered by the wall charger anyway. It's a little higher than Tesla's spec. Um, they said, I think 42 to 48 inches, but I thought this looked best uh, kind of on the siding and it's kind of arm height, a little higher than arm height, but um, that should be fine. It's really wherever you want to put it, you can put it. Um, so what do you want? Are you, are you into the 50% of uh, the video revenue or do you want your hourly rate? Yeah, I think 50% would be good. Okay, all right, he's taking the risk. He, he has no idea what my videos make, so uh, that's, a, that's a huge risk, but I like it, sounds good to me, so. <laughs> Um, nobody like or subscribe to this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so getting that ready, he's, he's lining everything up there. This is exciting. It seems like it's going so fast. There's still a lot to do, of course. And then down here in the box, we have you know, everything waiting here. We have this opened up so you can see the inside of the back of the wall connector here. So basically you do all the wiring on the other part um, and then you just snap this on whenever you're ready. This is gonna be great. I am really excited to try it out. All right, so we got the mounting block on fully. And just drilling some holes here to put the wires through. Man, that mounting block looks really good. I'm, I'm very happy I got that and that uh, we put it up. We were debating putting it up even a few minutes ago. So I thought it was interesting. They have a drain hole already built into the box down here. Okay. And it's, it's a NEMA 3R box, which means it's rain tight. But if any water gets in here, mm -hmm. then it just flows down to the bottom and drains right out. So Awesome. That's great. Normally, I... Normally I drill my own, but. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah I mean, Don't they are to. outdoor rated. 
Yeah, it's outdoor but, rated. Yeah, oh, okay, but even despite that. It's outdoor rated, but you still need a drain hole because otherwise water will just build up in there. Okay, so we drilled a hole through and the plan is, as you can see there, uh, we poked a hole in the wall charger too, and that's where our wiring is gonna go through the back, which is really cool because then on the outside here, you're gonna have nothing. It's just the wall charger mounted on the wall. And then it's gonna go straight through the wall here. And you can see on the other side, that's where the wiring will be with our conduit. That's what it's called, right? The metal yeah. pipes. Are <laughs> um, and then this metal pipe is gonna go straight up here. And we're gonna put that into the ceiling. And then we're gonna go in the attic. We're gonna have just the wiring go all the way over here. And then we're going to come out of the ceiling over here. Don't mind the spider webs, I like those. They keep all the bugs away. And then uh, we'll have more conduit coming down the wall and going down into the basement from over there. Nice, so we got the hole drilled up there. Conduit in, okay, cool. And then you can like easily fish the wire through that. Yeah, okay, sweet. That always seemed like the hard part to me is like getting the wire to go where you want it. Mm, yeah, it is difficult. No. <laughs> okay. So are you now the official Tesla car charger installer for the uh, Tesla Owners Club of Michigan? Uh, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Maybe another couple months or a year. Maybe two, in the I future when your babies yeah. are older. Right, right. <laughs> All right, then, because I'm going to have people asking. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got the hole drilled. It is not as in the corner as Nathan was hoping for, but this in the basement is all the way in the corner. We could not have moved over any more than that. Um, so this is yeah. perfect, actually. It's right where it has to be um, to fit on the wall. So putting another connector over here, and then, like I said, we're gonna go through the ceiling. Um, it'll come in over there, go all the way through the ceiling, and then come down over here. Gotta and drill a hole through the, uh, the shelf. Oh, yes, my, my shelf is in the way. Unfortunately. Yeah, no, that's fine. I, I put that in there to be all the way to the wall. I wanted it, you know, the maximum. So make a little hole for the conduit in there too. Uh -huh. And we'll be off. All right, so here's the cable coming out of the basement. I'm currently holding... I can't use the fancy camera right now. Oh, I hear you down there. Um, so we're gonna pull this out to the driveway. So let's do it. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. Ugh. Oh, he's helping me. Ugh. Got stuck. All right, so ran into a tiny hiccup, of course. You can't do any of these types of things without that. Uh, kind of my fault. I totally forgot that uh, the entire garage is not attic above. That actually, in the corner there, just a little bit from maybe here to here-ish, is under my bathroom. Um, and so we didn't, you know, of course, drill through the floor or anything. There's just a lot of stuff in the way. You can kind of see if I zoom in here. Um, you can kind of see up in the attic, there's like a wall there in the way. So we just have to fish the wire through some insulation and stuff. And we have basically just have to find the wire. <laughs> it's hard for us to find right now. Um, but once we find that, we can pull it over as we planned and uh, connect it to the wall connector. Yeah, he's like sitting right on the edge waiting for me to stick my finger in his mouth. All right, holy moly. We got it. Let's see this beast. We got a beast spider here. See him? Is he right there? Oh my gosh, yeah. look at that guy. Uh, so <laughs> Whoa, he ain't scared either. <laughs> He's huge. Oh my gosh, that is massive spider. Uh, so we finally got it through. Uh, oh, you already closed it up. All right, oh, is it coming out of the front now? Yeah. Um, let's check it out. So, oh, <laughs> I didn't expect it to be like <laughs> sticking out like that. Um, so there it is. It is routed through the ceiling. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, I heard you were looking for me. Yeah, we're good. I needed some string, but we, we did it. Right. Cool. Thank God. <laughs> that, was, that took a long time. We had to go through a lot of two by fours and insulation and all kinds of things. So yeah, um, yeah but this is all the conduit we'll have in the garage. We'll have some there and then some over here. And you were saying, you said PVC was an option as well? Yeah. It's cheaper option. Yeah, um, a little bit cheaper than the conduit. Would you ever use it or? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to. I thought the conduit would look nicer, so I went with that. It's a little um, straighter. It's steel, so like the PVC kind of bows a little bit sometimes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I thought I thought the steel would look nicer, so we went with that. 
Um, but yeah, now we got to go in the basement and get this in the breaker box. Um, well, no, we'll probably do that last. Now we're going to hook up the charger, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to connect the wire to the charger, um, and then we'll connect it to the breaker box and see if it'll charge the car. So you're done up in the attic, right? Uh, yeah, I got to get all my tools out, though. Yeah, yeah. No, that's sweet. I'm glad you're done with that part. Oh, is that tough? Yep. A little bit twisted. All right, so we have the back of the plate mounted. We have these sweet blue screws in here. Match the, the siding. Definitely did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. And now you're, what, stripping? Stripping the cable? Yeah. Don't worry, guys. Masonry screws work just fine. <laughs> <laughs> now they're they're uh, specifically from Tesla. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, not those screws. They did send no. some screws, but they weren't long enough. Tesla screws were not good enough. Yeah. So only the best here. Uh, oh, three. Yeah, that's right. I knew there were three in there. Uh huh. <laughs> so for something like this, are you supposed to pull a permit? Uh. Yeah. Technically, anything over a hundred dollars, you're supposed to pull a permit. But, oh, it goes off um, dollar value. Yeah, but this is not this is not like permit worthy. Yeah. It's not really changing anything on your house, so you're just putting in a plug. Right. I would say like even a professional company wouldn't even pull a permit for this. So you're saying we did pull a permit because it's over a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. What'd you say? Fifty inch pounds? Yeah. That's about right. <laughs> That is impressive. <laughs> so while Nathan is getting these wires installed, I wanted to talk to you about my decision of getting the wall connector versus just another NEMA 1450 outlet. Now, if I was going to park both cars in the garage, I actually most likely would have just gotten another NEMA 1450 installed. The wall connector will be $500 and the NEMA 1450 would be around $50. So it will be $450 cheaper to have a NEMA 1450 installed versus the wall connector. And then you do need slightly less gauge wire, of course, depending on the distance that your wire is being run. And so that should cost you just a little bit less as well. Install should be about the same because the work being done by the electrician is pretty much the same thing. They're just putting a wall connector or a NEMA 1450 in your wall, but of course get multiple quotes if it's not your buddy doing the job for you. Now, two main reasons I wanted to get the wall connector. Number one, uh, I think it looks cool. <laughs> I think it looks great. And since it's outside of my house, and people will be seeing it, I wanted uh, something a little more aesthetically pleasing. And being outside is really the second reason I got the wall connector. Of course, there are outdoor rated NEMA 1450s, but being outdoor, I just wanted something that was a little more contained and looked nicer than having the mobile connector just kind of plugged into the side of the house. And I'm going to be parking out here. Now I may be adding a concrete slab or something, but with the positioning of this wall connector, I can pull in as you see when I charge it in a little bit, I can back into the same spot. And if there's a car parked in the garage in the spot that's closest to the wall connector if they pull in I can also charge that car so we have four or more different positions that we could park a vehicle and use this same charger now this is the 18 foot wall connector unfortunately I bought it earlier in the year and they didn't have the 24 foot and now if you buy the wall connector you can get the 24 foot I most definitely would have gotten that one if it was available at the time but this is what I have and it will work for what I'm planning to do all right so we are almost done here just putting the breaker in that looks fun, <laughs> similar to the other side. Um, and then after this, we can go test it out, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be testing it out. Chaos over here with kids everywhere, but it's fun. Yeah. There's some uh, like startup thing where you program the 60 amp. We'll have to look at the manual. All right. And see, because uh, you got to program it for 60 amps. Okay, all right, so we have to program it for 60 amps and then we'll get it going. So yeah, we got lots of room. This is a 200 amp panel, I should have mentioned that. And there's still room for some other things. I don't know what else I would want, but um, yeah, probably if you're building a house or something, 200 amp panel, no reason not to. That's what you told me when I was building this place. You were just, oh, yeah, you yeah. said, just get a 200 amp. There's no reason not to. No reason not to. Yeah, so now I have plenty of room for all this crazy stuff going on. All right, so we have power, awesome. There is that. So the first thing you do, you connect to it via Wi-Fi. So I connected, the password was on the manual that came in the box. And then we can configure here. So right here it says set circuit breaker 48 amp, amp max output. Um, the setting is based on the connection inside. So it knows. Oh, it knows? Yeah, so it already knows. So that's correct. Uh, configure Wi-Fi. So this is to set it up and connect it to my Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna do that really quick off camera. 
So this will not connect to the Wi-Fi. It keeps saying failed to fetch. So I'm gonna work on that later. I think we should just plug the car in and see if it charges. Yeah, let's do it up. All right, let's try it. All right, so unfurling the cable. Here's the, the black handle as opposed to the gray on the mobile connector. And then we can just plug in right here. Should be able to press the button. Maybe not, let's see. Oh, okay, it was opening. Plugged in, we'll see if it works. We're blue, we're communicating, and we're green, we're charging. That's right, buddy. Check it out. So the wall connector, that's the charging uh, animation. Looks pretty sweet, huh? All right, and then we can go in the car and see how many amps we're getting. What do you think? How many amps? Should be close to 48, right? Yeah. <laughs> it is ramping up. We're at 33, 34, but it says out of 48, so we will get there. Takes it a minute to kind of ramp up. Okay. So, yeah, we're at 48 amps right now. 12 kilowatts, that is awesome. So the mobile charger I normally use is 32 amps. So this is a bit faster, again, overnight, doesn't really matter, um, but we're at 57% and to go to 90%, which I'm set at, is gonna be two and a half hours. Whereas if I did this on the mobile connector, uh, this would take closer to probably four hours, maybe three and a half hours. So we're saving about an hour of time uh, with this charger over 30%. Okay, so overall this took us like <laughs> seven hours or something. Uh, a little less than that, mostly because we got stuck up in the attic um, and that was that was ridiculous and kind of my fault. But I mean, whatever, you run into these things um, when you have projects like this. We got through, no big deal. We just had to plan it out, make sure we didn't, you know, mess anything up. Um, and it looks really good. All right, so you got any tips for people? Like they want to do- Always wear your safety glasses. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's your tip. <laughs> wear your safety glasses if you do this yourself. Oh, yeah. uh, it's over, zoop, right, right there. There it is. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's charging the car now. It's doing great. Um, thank you so much, Nathan. Yeah. Really appreciate it. You no did a problem. great job. All the wire like looks so good. I'm loving the conduit on the inside of the garage. Um, so now we'll be able to charge two Teslas. We can do this simultaneously. We can have one in the garage and this one out here charging both at the same time. Um, I think it looks great on the outside of the house as well. We should look at that a little bit more. This is awesome. I'm loving the wall connector. It connects to Wi-Fi. It will get updates. It'll get better. I'm hoping that it gets more integrated with the power walls. So I have two Tesla power walls in my house and I'm hoping that they will communicate a little better. One thing I really want is if a car is plugged in, and we have a bunch of solar production, it should just start charging the car. Like, why would it not do that, right? Um, and then if the, the solar goes away, a cloud comes by, or it's nighttime, you know, within a reasonable time frame, it'll stop the charging until uh, the next time that sun is available, or I tell it to charge. That would be really cool, so hopefully we'll get that. So overall, a bit expensive. <laughs> the uh, materials were 500. I don't know what I'm paying this guy yet. Uh, that was 500 for the wall connector. Um, so we're over a grand, where you could get a NEMA 1450 installed, a bit slower charge, but the NEMA 1450, what's a NEMA receptacle? Like 20 bucks? Uh, like that no, wall, that wall the big plug one? Over, that wall plug over there, yeah, that big one. That one's probably about 40 or $50. Okay, yeah, so 40 or $50 for a, like a nice quality one. Yeah. yeah, so like a good quality NEMA is gonna be 40 or $50. Um, and then of course the other materials would be uh, similar, maybe slightly less gauge wire, I'm not sure. Um, and so you're gonna be half the cost uh, or maybe a little less. But this is really nice, it looks great, and uh, I'm really happy to have it. So if you have any questions, leave those down below, happy to answer those. Hope you enjoyed this one, and you will see me in the next video.